Uh, hey everyone, uh, welcome. Yeah, this small video is uh, to help you use the audio video uh, features uh, inside Meritab Virtual Classroom. I mean, audio video uh, in terms of you know uh, granting the access to the learners and a few tips to use it uh, you know, efficiently. So right now I'm logged in as a teacher and as well as a student on this very same device. So uh, as you can see, you know, the student, uh, they do not have any access, uh, no audio, no video. I mean, even the recording is not up. Hence, uh, all these you know, three signs are kind of grayed out. So let me come back to the teacher's screen and to initiate uh, in order to grant the video access uh, or the audio access to the students, I need to click on people and simply click on this uh, uh, video icon. Uh, so the way we've set up the video uh, or for that matter, near the audio functionality is if I go ahead and enable only audio, it will only give audio access to the learner. But if I enable video, it would give video as well as audio to the student. Let me go ahead and click on video and on the student end, they would receive this pop up along with you know, a music uh, a couple of times. So uh, uh, what you can do is you can simply click. I mean, as a learner, you simply go ahead and click on this video to accept the, the video access from the teacher. You see right now I have the. Uh, uh, audio access as well as the video access. I can simply click on the video icon to unpublish the, the video. Click on mic to unpublish the audio. Right, so let me go ahead and publish it again. I'm going to come back into the teacher's screen. I'm going to revoke the video as well as the audio access from the learner. Right. So now I again do not have the video or the audio access. So I actually want to give you a small tip. So a lot of times this sort of you know, mistake happens uh, just out of you know, curiosity or you know, looking at multiple things we tend to kind of accidentally, if I accidentally go ahead and click somewhere like this, this pop up goes away and we still haven't accepted the audio or the video. But the fact that you know the teacher has given you the audio or the video, so these two icons would turn. Uh, I mean, there would be you will see a red color circle on top of these you know icons. So that that means you have the audio, video access. All you have to do is click on the icon to publish your video or publish the audio. Right. right. So let me go ahead and start the video and the audio. And in case, uh, I mean, the class has multiple students. So we also have the global, you know, uh, management in terms of uh, audio video. I can simply click on this, mute everyone, enable audio access to all the learners inside the classroom in one go. Same goes for the, you know, video access and writing as well as, you know, the chat access. So I hope uh, this will our video helps and let us know if you have any questions.